think uh, Dave mentioned uh, there were decks at 7 and 11,000 feet, so we'll probably Discovery see a Houston, of no need to respond. Just to let uh, you know the right probe did finally problem. deploy, and it's their data also looks good. Okay, right. now they have Sounds both like probes have out. Both. Uh, this is the kind of thing that, you know, local television is able to do uh, and has been for years, put a helicopter up in the air and actively being control live the picture to the discovery. ground, but this is a fairly new addition to the shuttle fleet, being able to, to show live pictures from the shuttle as it's coming in. Miles an hour. Only in about the last five years, we have this nose camera. Sometimes uh, there's the double sign in the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, sometimes the cameras don't have the right lighting conditions, but because it's uh, mid-morning now, we're getting a good view of the top of the clouds as Discovery lines up for its circle towards runway 15. In fact, they're in the bank right now towards that uh, section 22 runway. miles of the runway. And we did just hear, I don't know if everybody picked up on that, but we just heard the, the double clap of the sonic boom. Uh, you know, tell us what, what sort of makes that happen at, right at this point. Well, this is a big machine uh, the size of a DC-9 airline. Discovery so now, three minutes to touch off down. The nose and the wingtips actually create two shock waves that the human ear can actually distinguish, bang, bang, instead of Mark Kelly taking a turn at the stick. Smaller jet fighter, for example. On the screen, you see the uh, altitude on the down to the right. The altitude is displayed five miles. The pilot only has to look through the windscreen. To 17 see miles to the runway. Displayed. Discovery Houston on at the 180. Channel. They have 100 Roger. degrees of turn left to go, and everything's looking great, according to the guidance officer. So does that Discovery on does target cloud layer at the 180 mark of the heading alignment about? circle? Not really. Uh, Steve, they know back that it's control. just a broken deck. They can see the ground through it, and in fact, it's going to become evident as they roll around here that they'll be able to Pretty see good the good auxiliary power units. They're still above a solid deck, but that's well above their... Both air data probes land. deployed. And of course, they don't have any choice now. They have to accept the weather they've got right. and come through those clouds and roll out on final. Speed 450 miles. Having been on the ground for one of these shuttle landings, that double sonic boom is, is not Houston something you on hear at the as much as you feel. It's almost as though, and they're in the cloud deck now. There's the uh, probably the lower deck discovery on track uh, at the 90 the degree mark of the heading alignment circle. Now, it, it's almost like having someone uh, blast a shotgun maybe five feet away. The, the, the thing feet. reverberates. You can actually feel it as that speed 420 comes. miles. It's the announcement that the orbiter is coming home. And now through the final uh, deck of clouds here, there are three fifteen thousand 15,000 feet, and just shortly we're going to see the runway. Nine miles and a minute and a half to touch down. That line at the top of the screen you see there is the uh, depiction that the computers show you of where the runway should be. And as they come and this is the, the view out the heads-up display. Right and this is a live picture from, from the ground or perhaps from one of the chase planes of the shuttle. No gear down yet. That won't happen until the very last second. Now, Steve Lindsay but reports the he has the landing field in the clouds. clouds. Let's listen into NASA. Speed 309 miles an hour. Altitude 6,300 feet. Miles to the runway. All systems looking good as Discovery comes in for a landing. Two thousand feet, they'll start to raise the nose. Shuttle drop out of the sky through the deck, 
for a safe landing on the, on the runway here at Kennedy Space Center. It shows some of the scars you might expect from traveling at 25 times the speed of sound through the atmosphere and in space, but it looks great. It's at wheel stop now, and as we say, it's not over to wheel stop and maybe a little, little more than that for the space shuttle. Yeah, we can see some uh, scorching, Tom, uh, uh, to the, well, the left of the uh, uh, Roger, nose heat Welcome back shield. To and congratulations I guess that is, a, that's uh, normal, that's to be expected. Expanding our knowledge and experience fact, with Orbital that's right, uh, Space Station back to a full hey, crew Dave, looks like to me like the normal wear and tear no from uh, all the missions that Discovery has conducted. This is the 32nd flight of Discovery.